I'm Sanjay Melvani. I am currently the managing director of Trellabog Sri Lanka. We look after three legal entities, two manufacturing sites. Uh, it's, Trellabog is a three and a half billion dollar company, having its presence in about 122 manufacturing sites, and we have about 55 countries that we are present in. So, Sri Lankan operation is the largest amongst the largest in the world in terms of the manufacturing footprint of Trelleborg and I look after the Sri Lankan operations. I joined Trelleborg in 2008 as the CFO looking after the Sri Lankan operation. Then in 2012-13 I was looking after China and Pennsylvania in terms of finance in addition to Sri Lanka. And then in 2014 I was uh, promoted to the managing director of Sri Lankan operations and now looking after the Sri Lankan operation and also involved in a greenfield uh, implementation of a tie manufacturing company in Gujarat, India. I decided to do a master's uh, rather late in my career uh, because I personally believe that uh, it's always good to have a certain amount of experience before you uh, venture out into getting a master's degree. And I did that and it was pretty late, it was in my early 40s that I uh, ventured out into getting a master's and uh, Oxford was uh, very accommodative, it was, uh, it was a good uh, standard that I have uh, seen because I have been around the world, I have seen um, how institutes run, uh, even though I didn't uh, venture out. I, in my current position, I have uh, two PhD holders that report to me. But I decided to, you know, uh, follow a master's degree only uh, very late. And I chose to go ahead with Oxford because looking at the credentials of the organization, it uh, seemed the uh, most uh, viable approach. It was a very good learning experience for me at the, uh, at the uh, OCB simply because uh, the people that actually come and lecture are of a certain caliber and of a certain educational background and it kept it uh, very interesting for a person like me. Uh, for me to go in for classes at, uh, at my level of experience and, and at my age especially, having uh, students who are uh, pretty much younger than me, it had to mean that the lectures were interesting and they were meaningful. And that's what uh, I found at Oxford. Uh, the MBA actually has helped me and it has propelled me to now move on to actually look at getting a PhD or a DBA. Uh, because I realized that it's always good to be educated and not only experienced. And the education I had up to now, uh, before even my MBA, helped me to get to where I was and now it has helped me to be where I am and in going forward I would plan to get a DBA as well simply because of the educational side of it where I started again after taking quite a long break. I would, uh, the advice I would give any individual that is planning to uh, pursue a higher education, especially a master's would be that take your time, don't be in a hurry. There are many, uh, shall I say, people nowadays who want to have one, two, three, four master's degrees, PhD degrees at a very early stage in life. I would suggest, my recommendation is first get yourself one qualification. Use that qualification to enhance your career and your experience. Use that experience then to go in for a master's degree because you would en enable to, it will enable you to get more value from the program. I would recommend uh, OCB uh, to anyone in Sri Lanka and outside because it's a more structured, it's a very structured approach that they, they, they use. And the panel of lecturers, see the, the main thing is the panel of lecturers and uh, they have quite an eminent panel of lecturers who are educated and experienced in their rel relevant field which actually helps the students to understand the subject, uh, which is something that, uh, which is an area that is uh, slightly weak when it comes to the Sri Lankan education on this level of uh, uh, studies.